This is Christine Porter with the Times News. I'm here today with Danielle Schollenberger, a nurse practitioner and director of the Concussion and Head Trauma Program at Lehigh Valley Health Network. We are talking about the symptoms of a concussion and how it's diagnosed. What is a concussion? That's an excellent question. So there are several definitions of concussion. The one that we use most frequently is to say that concussion is a traumatic brain injury. So that's number one. I think everyone needs to know that. It is something that is caused by a blow to the head or a jolt to the head. So long ago, everyone used to say, oh, you got your bell rung um, or you got a ding to your head. But in fact, we know that this blow to the head actually alters the way that the brain functions. So that I tell patients something hits your head or your head hits something and that impact is what will alter the way the brain functions. That is the injury. Now I also would like to say the medical diagnosis so that everyone can hear um, that part of what we say in every appointment. We tell patients that Concussion is a pathophysiologic process affecting the brain induced by traumatic biomechanical forces. What are some symptoms of a concussion? So very typically now, um, people that are concussion specialists, people that care for concussions like myself, we are using what's called a post-concussion symptom checklist. This was developed by researchers and they have identified the most common symptoms that are related to concussion. They have also categorized them. So they are in four specific categories and I'll just share that with you briefly. So the first category is physical and that would include headaches, dizziness, nausea, light sensitivity, noise sensitivity, and imbalance. There are more, but I'll just give you those few. The second category is labeled as thinking, which we refer to as cognitive. And that would include, are you mentally foggy? Do you feel mentally slowed down? Do you have difficulty focusing or concentrating or remembering information? The third category is sleep pattern. So are you sleeping less than your normal? Are you sleeping more than your normal? Are you having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep? And then finally, the fourth category is emotional. Are you irritable? Are you sad? Are you nervous? Are you different emotionally than your normal or your baseline? How are concussions diagnosed? The concussions are diagnosed by signs and symptoms. So I just discussed with you the categories of symptoms. And I just want to clarify that symptoms are what a patient will report and signs are what a provider will assess. So together, signs and symptoms give us a lot of information. So on that symptom checklist I just spoke about, there are 20 plus uh, symptoms uh, on there that we discuss with every patient. And then there's also a rating system that goes with each symptom. And we track that every visit, a patient will complete that symptom checklist and rate it. So it helps us to monitor their progress and their outcomes. Additionally, I have to say that concussions are diagnosed by the second part, the assessment. So I just told you about the symptoms and now we're going to do the assessment. And a concussion specialist will assess with a neurologic evaluation. They will also do balance testing. Uh, we do tests for ocular motor function, which are eye movement tests, very specific, and also vestibular function, which assesses balance and for dizziness. So there is a, there is a whole list of very specific tests that are done to assess a patient after concussion. And that's how we diagnose them. Thank you to everyone for joining us at home. And for more health tips during the COVID-19 pandemic, please visit the Lehigh Valley Health Network news blog at news.lvhn.org.